The Empire's on the run. Alex Jones and the GCN Radio Network. Sold out for weeks due to the difficult and extensive proprietary process behind its creation, the exclusive InfoWars Life Secret 12 formulation is now back in stock in the last limited shipment of 2014. The most bioactive form that has been created with our proprietary process. This ultra-clean vitamin B12 nutraceutical has been carefully crafted and developed over the last two years and is based on cellular science of how your body actively absorbs essential nutrients. Secret 12 is taken by mouth, right on the tongue, and then swallowed. No needles, no injections. Vitamin B12 deficiency is linked to scores of serious problems. And Secret 12 is a fusion of two organic proprietary forms of vitamin B12, bringing you a true nutraceutical quality vitamin B12. Secret 12. Secret 12 is an excellent Christmas gift and is tailor-made to boost your New Year's resolutions. Supplies of Secret 12 are very limited. Secure yours today at InfoWarsLife.com or by calling toll-free 888-253-3139. 2015 is almost here, and with it comes those New Year's resolutions to finally transform your body the way you want it. There's a reason over 88% of New Year's resolutions fail. Make this year different by equipping yourself with Oxy Powder, the next level in cleansing the body naturally. Using Super Oxygenation, Oxy Powder, available through InfoWarsLife.com, gently cleanses the body while you sleep with easy capsules. Tens of thousands of individuals have used Oxy Powder to cleanse their bodies and aid in their transformations. Even InfoWars Nightly News Director Rob Dew has been using Oxy Powder with incredible success. Took it that first day, then I took it for six more days after that. 12 pounds melted off in about a week. I'd say a week, seven days. 2015 can be different. Diet and exercise are important, but a lot of us have already tried that. Oxy Powder flushes it out. Secure your Oxy Powder at InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com or 888-253-3139. The average person's life is filled with unexpected challenges. Unlock the energy it takes to defeat these daily beasts with super male or super female vitality, specifically designed to assist the body in regulating proper hormone balance to create superior vitality in males and females. Supercharge and conquer your world at InfoWarsLife.com or call 1-88-253-3139. The government's Department of Homeland Security is buying up loads of ammo. At the same time, they're restricting civilians' rights to own and purchase firearms. Can you put two and two together? Infidel Body Armor can stop every round, including hollow points and 308 sniper rounds. Is reasonably priced and fully legal. But for how long? Go to InfidelBodyArmor.com, spelled I-N-F-I-D-E-L BodyArmor.com. Infidel Body Armor just won't quit. Resistance to tyrants is obedience to God. It's Alex Jones. When the night has come. Welcome back to the Alex Jones Show on this Friday, December 19th, 2014. I'm David Knight in Austin. And, and joining us from the UK is Paul Joseph Watson. We're going to be talking about his story, Sony Hack reinvigorates support for privacy busting CISPA style legislation and it's all the usual suspects John McCain Lindsey Graham Mike McCall all these people the guardians of peace who want to seize control of the internet and try to use this as an opportunity to do that we're going to go to Paul in just a moment before we do I want to let you know that we have extended this two-day sale that was uh, earlier this week. We extended it yesterday to uh, guarantee shipping. It was originally a two-day sale because uh, Wednesday the 17th was the last day that we could guarantee shipment for Christmas. Uh, Alex added extra staff yesterday so that he could make sure that anybody that ordered it yesterday could uh, get it by Christmas. We've had such an overwhelming uh, support of this, of this sale that we thought we'd extend it for you as well because it is a huge savings it's a way for us to say thank you to our supporters and again it's the essential holiday pack secret 12 x2 nascent iodine and silver bullet for only 59.99 it's about 20 dollars a bottle it's about an 80 dollars savings over retail 57 percent off 
And again, uh, we can't guarantee shipment by Christmas, but uh, we're extending that offer. You'll find that on InfoWarsLife.com, the essential holiday health pack with Secret 12, that's the B12 supplement, uh, nascent iodine X2, and Silver Bullet. Now going to uh, Paul Joseph Watson in the UK. Paul, what do you make of uh, this article that you put up here, the, the fact that they're grasping for any excuse to bring this thing back. They've had at least five tries to jam this thing through from the media companies. They're the ones, I think, who are really the corporate partners with the surveillance state, thinking that their business is not doing as well because of massive piracy. I think it's just the garbage that they're putting out, like the interview. I had no interest in going to see that. I still don't have any interest in going to see it. But I think it's, it's the content that they're putting out more than it is the privacy. But they're pushing for this kind of control, but it's going to be much more uh, comprehensive than just protecting media. Well, that's right. This from my perspective, is about reanimating the dead corpses of CISPA and SOPA, which of course both failed. Now, of course, back in 2010, the two other most alarming cybersecurity incidents were Stuxnet, the Stuxnet virus, and the flame virus. At the time, they were blamed on the likes of China and Russia, and we were called conspiracy theorists for pointing to the evidence yes. and the motivation and this is not just, you know, hot air. They literally called us conspiracy theorists. I compiled a list of where we were called this back in 2010. Oh, absolutely. For, and they're doing it again that, now, Paul. They're now saying that this hack was probably uh, China or Russia again, but also adding into the yeah. mix Iran because we don't like Iran now. And that's Fox News. It's the Fox News conspiracy theory. Yeah, and they said the same thing for Stuxnet. We said it was most likely the U.S. or Israel in combination came out in 2012 that yes, it was the US government and Israel that created Stuxnet. And nobody called us a conspiracy theorist on that anymore. And now the FBI has done a complete 180. As of three days ago, they were saying that basically the vast majority of the evidence suggested that this was an insider that had direct knowledge and access to Sony infrastructure and passwords that had conducted this hack attack. Now, suddenly, they've got some kind of memo from the White House who base their claims, their accusations, their assertions on no evidence whatsoever, as we saw in the case of MH17, blaming Russia for the shoot down of that while presenting no evidence whatsoever other than, you know, screenshots from video games and things like that that they borrowed from Kiev. So it looks like today Obama's going to give a press conference in a couple of hours. The FBI is going to release a statement and say the same thing, that, that this is North Korea working in concert with Iran, Russia, and China, and they're going to present no evidence whatsoever. And as he said, David, this is about CISPR and SOPA, yeah. the Cybersecurity Information Sharing Act of 2014. Immediately, like piranhas, they all jumped on this yesterday, mm -hmm. McCain, Lindsay, Feinstein, Obama himself saying that, this Sony hack proves that Congress needs to pass this bill, which yeah. was completely dead. It had no chance of passing, and now it's been re reanimated. And it, it would allow companies to monitor private communications and disclose user activity to the government, eliminating any kind of warrant process whatsoever. So, qui bono, that's how the government benefits. Then if you look at the six major Hollywood studios, they want to reanimate the SOPA bill, which also failed because it would force ISPs to comply with companies um, who demand that websites accused of copyright violation be shut down on a whim, again, with no due process whatsoever. So this whole fallout from this Sony hack and what they're trying to propose to remedy it in terms of more draconian cybersecurity, uh, more laws that allow user data to be handed over with no due process whatsoever only benefit the government and major Hollywood studios like Sony. Oh, so yeah. then you look at the actual evidence, which says that it was an inside job, that somebody on the inside of Sony was responsible for this hack, not North Korea, not Iran, Russia, or China. And you ask yourself the question, if they're the ones that are going to get the bounty out of it, then who's who's likely to be the main culprit? 
Well, you've already had Sony Pictures selling us uh, Zero Dark Thirty in cooperation with the intelligence community, the U.S. government, promoting Obama uh, for president, trying to portray him as the man who took down Osama bin Laden. Starting out that movie with a torture sequence and showing that, well, that's how we got the information that allowed us to kill Osama bin Laden, who'd been dead for years prior to that. But it was also Sony. So, you know, this inside job may be more inside than we realize. Certainly, they've made the case. We've had a tech analysis of it. We, we talked about that yesterday. They talked about how it was about 100 terabytes of data. And if you look at the timing, they said, and officials inside of uh, Sony have even said, it has to be somebody who's a disgruntled former employee, somebody in IT who is guiding this through because they wouldn't have had time to go through that many emails. You think about how many emails that is with 100 terabytes of data for them to immediately go through and pull out the, this type of stuff. But we also now have some other data that's coming out that gives us another perspective on it. But as you pointed out, Paul, it's not just CISPA, but it's also they're trying to uh, turn this into a much broader spectrum, trying to blame it on Iran, China, or Russia. You know, the Onion had a parody up and they said, uh, if we want to bring Putin to his knees, maybe it's time we embargo his Netflix account. Maybe that's what we should do now. We should embargo Putin's Netflix account. There's an article up on uh, Infowars.com. The Sony hack might have killed a certain kind of satire. Now, one of the things I found interesting in this article was a quote from a cybersecurity expert, Peter Singer, who said, the ability to steal gossipy emails from a not-so-great protected computer network is not the same thing as being able to carry out physical 9-11-style attacks in 18,000 locations simultaneously. Because that's what the House cybersecurity chairman is warning us. He says, first, Sony, next, the electric grid, and then Wall Street. Paul? It's, it's amazing the fact that previously we all laughed at North Korea for this mm -hmm. bellicose, baseless rhetoric that they come out with every single year. Normally right before Christmas, just by coincidence, saying that they're going to destroy the world. Everybody laughs in their face. You know, it's a country that can barely feed its own population. The experts who have looked at this said that North Korea does not have the sophistication to carry out this attack. Yet now the White House is acting as their PR mouthpiece. They're, they're turning North Korea um, from a, a paper tiger into this rampaging Godzilla that's going to attack nuclear p plants, that's going to attack 18,000 cinemas, that's going to bring down the entire country. Now they're talking about electrical grids. I mean, and, and Paul, there's when an did article. the White House become the, the PR agency for Kim Jong-un? Yeah, it's completely ridiculous. It's preposterous. They and have again, done it. it suggests yes, you know, they, North they... Korea has not claimed responsibility for this. Yeah. Again, read what the experts are saying. If they had pulled this off, they would be all over it like white on rice claiming responsibility for it, dealing a, you know, a blow to the great Satan. I mean, that would play so well nationally for their domestic propaganda. They would instantly claim responsibility if they were behind it. They haven't. And the, the people who were behind the hack, who gave interviews anonymously said, you know, we're not backed by any state. And in their, in their message to Sony, in their initial email to Sony, the interview, this film about, you know, these CIA agents going over to kill Kim Jong-un, they never mentioned that movie in the initial message. This, this whole narrative about the interview and linking it to North Korea didn't come from this hacking group. It came from the White House. It came from the media that glommed onto it and has never let go in the, in the three or four weeks since. Paul, illustrating what you were just saying uh, as well, that's a good point that, of course, they would be crowing about the fact that they had done it if they actually had done it. But there's also emails that have come out the Daily Beast reports that uh, they looked at some of the emails and they looked at communications going back and forth about what they had said to the State Department and what they had said to a RAND consultant. And one of the emails going back to June 26 says, Michael, I talked with Ambassador King a few minutes ago. Their office has apparently decided that this is typical North Korea bullying. So back in June, the State Department was dismissing this, as you point out, this is something that North Korea does all the time. They do this every year, as you pointed out. And he was saying back in June, this is nothing. This is just a bellicose uh, posturing by the North Koreans. And now we're supposed to take it so seriously that we're supposed to give them 
complete control of the internet, the ability to shut down websites just on the mere accusation of a Hollywood studio. Do we really, after what we've seen from these Hollywood studios, do we really want to give them that kind of power or the MPAA? Do we want to give the government that kind of power? This goes way beyond political correctness. And they have turned this thing around 180 degrees from where they were just back in June. Exactly. And it's, it's, it's,